Street Games is an event put on by the city and the Parks Department, a lot of volunteer people that come out and just do some, I guess you could say, old school games. Enjoy yourselves here today. I'm very delighted to let you know that the speaker, uh, Melissa Mark Viverito, is here, that she's going to address you and say a few words. Commissioner, great to see you. It's really great that this event happens here in El Barrio East Harlem, a district that I am proud to represent. I am excited because I see some of the games that I used to play when I was a kid. If you grew up in New York City, you definitely played handball. This is our very first street games. You hear handball, you think street games. This right here is a soap car. Each borough has made their own car, so it's kind of a competition between boroughs. And our kids just get to race, they start on a ramp, and it's a pretty cool event. We come here every year, the kids love to come here. They enjoy spending the time outside and the different activities. My dad grew up playing stickball. My dad, my godfather, everybody. It does look a little bit difficult for them, but they just gotta keep trying. My name is Vito Criales. I'm the president of the New York Emperor Stickball League in the Bronx. Um, so we're out here enjoying stickball with the kids, the community. You know, it's our way of giving back. Stickball, along with other sports that we used to play in the streets, you know, has kind of like is like going extinct because uh, we're, you know we're competing with computers and all this other stuff. But you know, it's up to us, you know, the adults, the parents, to bring our kids back to the streets and back to playing sports and back to exercising because only that way you're going to stay healthy and and you and, you know you're going to teach your kids the same kind of traditions. I think a street game is where you play games sort of like a carnival, but except that there are games in there that everybody can participate in. So far I've learned how to ride a pogo stick. It's very hard. I don't really have an opportunity to do this every day. We're now at the grand finale here. It's a great partnership between Disney and the Parks Department here in the city. And the message is pretty simple to, to the kids and really the adults of the city. And that's to, to get outside, get moving, get healthy, and eat right. And so what you see here today is a whole bunch of exhibits and performances encouraging people to move. When you get out and move, you feel better. So that's kind of the message. So you see sports, you see performances, you see people playing basketball, and kids out just having a great time. So the message here is, is health. You know, for me as a first timer, it was just great to see the message kind of become reality. And the kids and parents have a great time. That's what the day is all about.